uh, sir i have talked uh, with my uh, senior uh, officer and uh, he has told me that uh, uh, when i have forwarded you the link uh, that time you need to you know uh, add the fb link as well you are on mute you are on mute yeah, yeah. sorry uh, no issue uh, we have started recording of this meeting and we will keep this video recording on our facebook page right so that way we, it will be working i don't see anywhere we can add this uh, code for live streaming uh okay so yeah. now i'll start with the presentation uh yeah. good morning all of you my name is jasprit kaur and uh, i am uh, i am working as the examiner of patents and designs with indian patent office mumbai and uh, now uh, we are today uh, i am just uh, try to i'll try to make this session a little bit interactive with you guys uh, so that you know you can feel easy about it and uh, i'll speak in the both the languages english and hindi both and if you have any questions in between the presentation you can simply raise your hand and you can ask the question or we can reserve the question answer session for the last uh, minute of the uh, presentation and uh, part sir uh, kindly uh, confirm if you are able to see my presentation in a uh, full screen mode yes ma'am it is visible and uh, clearly audible okay so uh, i hope i am uh, interacting with the group a uh, to, today is the interaction with the group a students which are engineering students uh, chemistry students Correct. pharmacy students okay so uh, guys actually we have uh, curated the three uh, level presentations so it's level a level b and level c and uh, this presentation is level c it is uh, specifically designed for you people the people who belong to the engineering uh, background or chemistry or pharmacy who have their core areas in the uh, you know uh, the filing uh, uh, in the filing of the patents so what is the national intellectual property awareness mission nipam nipam it is uh, uh, being launched by dpiit uh, ministry of commerce and industry so under this mission government of india has uh, you know taken an initiative to uh, make you people aware like make aware like 1 million students all from the schools research institutions and colleges and various universities to make you aware about the iprs i hope you know little bit about the iprs what uh, intellectual property is all about so um, intellectual property it contains uh, patents designs trademarks geographical indications copyrights semiconductor integrated circuits layout designs so iske bare mein hum sara baat karenge aaj is presentation mein so okay so when i say the word property what does come to your mind anybody who can uh, who, who who you know uh, want to unmute uh, themselves and answer this question when i say the word property what does come to your mind yes anybody from the audience uh please don't make it a you know one way traffic like i am speaking and speaking and uh, people are just listening to me okay so uh property when i say the word property okay in a tangible manner uh you know it comes to my my mind is like land a piece of gold a piece of land or anything that adds to my self worth okay so in case of the intellectual property intellect means a creation of mind a idea that is being generated into my mind in my brain okay and when you want to save that property with the uh, when a property is you know connected to your mind and you want to save it preserve it and use it for your own cause only then intellectual property the idea of intellectual property comes into the light okay so now in the today's presentation we are going to talk about the various iprs the rights over the intellectual properties okay so in our patent office we are dealing with the iprs intellectual property rights what happens what exactly is happening are in our offices uh inventors researchers 
scientist they come to our office and they say that ma'am we have made this invention okay we have made this thing and we want to you know claim a right over it and we in the patent office we are just helping out others to make that their idea their property only their property okay so in intellectual property we deal with the patents designs trademarks geographical indication copyrights semiconductor integrated circuits layout designs so what is a patent patent is the exclusive right that is being granted to the inventor or the applicant okay once you make an invention and if you want to get a right over it okay you can just claim a right over it in the form of the patent okay also in the other case if i talk about the designs if you have something in your mind regarding the designs if you when i say the word design what comes to your mind design of my uh, spectacles design of my watch okay so what happens is uh sir give me a moment one second okay ma'am Uh, sorry for the interruption guys okay so uh, we were talking about the uh, sir the presentation is in uh, full screen mode your presentation is not visible you need to share it again okay yes okay so we were talking about the various iprs it is on the patents designs trademarks gis copyrights and sicilds okay so we are going to talk about it in a you know very elaborate manner in my upcoming slides okay so okay when now what you are able to see on my screen this is a laptop okay and this is a very beautiful fancy apple laptop and what you can see in the first figure is okay so it is uh, apple laptop and arrow is pointing towards the apple logo and another arrow is pointing inwards which is pointing towards the keyboard touch panel and its led display screen when i talk about the led display it shows its various technical features okay for example in the case of uh, a gaming laptops we talk about the technical resolutions it presents it talk about the speed of the uh, you know screen and the way it displays the graphics so when i talk about the innovation and invention in the led display it qualifies for the patent design anything that is you know that comes under the domain of the technical advancement or the novel features in respect of the technical uh, technical manner it qualifies for the patent right and in the next uh, uh, figure the arrow is pointing towards the screen of the laptop okay so when i uh, it is showing the perspective view of the body of the laptop and as you all know that laptops are coming in the notebook manner okay but their uh, design specifications are very much different from each other like if i talk about the apple laptops and these days uh, we are also getting some you know very slim thin type of laptop in other brands too whenever we find something which is very unique in its design okay it qualifies for the registered design you can register your design with the registry in the ip india office and now you can see the apple logo in the figure 1 the slim arrow is pointing toward the logo the apple sign qualifies for the trademark it shows the brand of the brand of the 
product and what is the third one third one is the uh, layout of the ic's okay so in my office we are also dealing with the sci cle uh, sci cl designs so what a layout of ic's are also you know uh, they are also eligible for the uh, exclusive rights it simply talks about the technical designs like the diodes transistors and the positioning of the various pins over a uh, integrated circuit board and whenever you buy something it comes with the user manual and the way the people curated way the brand has curated its user manual and the way they display, they have you know displayed their instructions to use the product it qualifies for the copyright like if i talk about myself this presentation is being made by me okay and the way i am presenting is completely by my own so it qualifies for the copyright copyright ipr okay so what does uh, this slide means okay so this is a uh, intellectual property for intellectual property rights uh, under this domain what comes it all like if i talk about the uh, idea okay so you need a brain a mind to create idea okay then you need some resources to implement those ideas and also you need some manpower in the form of the labor to implement those area uh, those idea or commercialize it in the market so iprs contains all about the brain resources and labor so what is the importance and significance of uh, granting these rights exclusively to someone जब आप कोई भी इन्वेंशन कर रहे हैं आपने कुछ ऐसा इन्वेंट कर दिया है जो बहुत ही इनोवेटिव है इन योर ओन परस्पेक्टिव और इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इन द टेक्निकल टर्म्स तो अगर हम आपको पेटेंट राइट दे रहे हैं उसके ऊपर आपका एक्सक्लूसिव राइट है वेन एवर यू गो टू यू नो वेन एवर यू बाय सम पीस ऑफ लैंड एंड यू वॉन्ट योर एक्सक्लूसिव राइट ओवर इट you go to some tehsildar or you know some uh, magistrate's office to get it registered for yourself that uh, the registry should be in your favor on your name similarly in case of the property that is being created by your intellect by your mind you need something you know you need uh, something in the form of the registry to get a registered right over it that is what we are doing in our indian patent office so uh, what what happens when you uh, when you you know get it registered with the patent office or, or the other ipr offices it simply protects your uh, invention and it debars others to uh, uh, others to you know uh, not to use your invention for their own cause and it simply exclude others and you can if you have a registered right over something so you are the only person eligible liable to utilize the commercializing earnings that arise out of them okay so this is the importance and significance of iprs so how you can utilize and commercialize your inventions okay so uh, what i am what trend i see in my office is like uh, if i talk about the students what they are doing is the students in their uh, you know research uh, um, if they are following some you know research courses or they are doing some phd or uh, maybe in their masters they are uh, doing some kind of research or thesis they uh, make a invention they make some proposed solutions and they get a patent right over it and uh, if you are adding something to your cv like a patented invention it adds the huge brownie points to your cv or if you want to uh, go to you know study abroad i mean if you want to go to uh, other uh, big universities like stanford and all if you have a patented invention in your hand it adds hugely to uh, your cv and in some cases people license or assign their rights to others 
like sometimes it happens that applicant is some big organization or a company but inventor is like a very small a very uh, ordinary person it is from some phd or uh, some uh, research institution who simply makes an invention okay so he or she may assign their rights uh, to the uh, uh, applicant who is the big organization and they can use it to, you know in a um, uh, in a big way but in a very legal manner and uh, what is the uh, meaning of merchandise merchandise uh, all of you have grown uh, you know uh, have been uh, uh, you 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 must have been seen uh, this disney uh, the cartoons from the disney channel and all and uh, and later on you have seen people wearing the children specifically wearing those t-shirts so show that uh, disney mickey mouse logos on their t-shirts so this is the meaning of the merchandise and third one is the franchise when i whenever i talk about the franchise the you guys you can simply relate with the mcdonald's pizza hut okay dominos you can see that uh, their store is only in the one city but uh, they have uh, franchises in the multiple countries with the multiple cities and this is how you earn from your uh, iprs so what is the difference between the common person and businessman whenever a common person makes any kind of invention and he takes you know a patent right over it or a design right over it or any other kind of the ipr over it it adds to your self pride bhai mera to ho gaya hai maine dekho maine ye invention ki hai aur mere paas ye right hai okay so he or she can uh, use it in that way or if i talk about the academics as i have told you previously that if you make some kind of invention and you get a patent right over it that some people uh, uh, okay not in their engineering uh, uh, like i have seen people doing uh, some kind of invention in the fourth year of uh, final year of your engineering uh, courses or uh, people from the masters or from the chemistry or pharmacy courses okay so uh, what you can do is you can simply if you have some idea in your brain uh, so you can simply create it or if you are able to implement it on the you know in the common uh, life then you can also apply for the patent right over it and it can you know hugely benefit to uh, add the add those great points to your academical background and if i talk about the businessman what they are doing is they are making some kind of product or process and basically i am a software engineer okay so i deal with the computer science inventions uh, mostly so what people talk about is they make inventions in the field of the software okay and some software engineers they come and they are hugely adding some features to the already existing softwares or they are making the new ones okay so uh, businessmen are what businessmen or organizations are doing they are making something and they are getting the patent right over it and they can commercialize the uh, product into the market and it hugely adds to their brand value people can earn uh, money from it organizations can uh, earn money from it and hugely they can find some investors to invest upon it so what is a patent so patent is a grant patent is a right it is granted by the sovereigns of our state to a person what is a sovereign country we are a independent nation and so government of india is all liable to grant or revoke a patent to a uh, individual it gives the exclusive right it's to you know uh, agar aapke paas kisi um, kisi bhi product process ya jo bhi aap invention kar rahe hain uske upar agar aapke paas exclusive right hai to koi bhi दूसरा आपकी परमिशन के बिना उसको मेक नहीं कर सकता यूज नहीं कर सकता और उसको मार्केट में फ्लो नहीं कर कर सकता है सो दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट द बेनिफिट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द दिस इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो इन द अपकमिंग स्लाइड्स सो व्हाट इज द आईपीआर आईपीआर इज द एक्सक्लूसिव राइट इट इज ग्रांटेड बाय द सोवरेन और स्टेट टू द पर्सन and it gives the exclusive right and it stop others to you know duplicating exercising or importing your invention and this right is being granted for a limited period of course this is to you know uh, motivate the new new inventions if we are going to grant the right over a 
over uh, something that is being you know uh, that, that is being made and uh, and for the you know forever it stops it uh, demotivate others it demotivates others to make the new inventions so patent is a right it exclude others from using your invention and only the owner or the inventor or the applicant has a qualified right to use the invention no one else from any other way is liable to use your um, patented invention so this slide shows the famous inventors or the inventions so is in the first image the sir aryabhatta whose number 0 was invented by aryabhatta and is one of the it is one of the oldest invention next uh, is the figure of sir c v raman and uh, he was the nobel laureate and uh, of course uh, everybody uh, who has uh, you know uh, studied physics he know he or she knows well that uh, he was the nobel laureate in the field of the physics and uh, he has invented the raman effect and the third is the respectable um, uh, honorable dr uh, uh, abdul kalam and he was known for his crucial role and he worked for so many years in isro and he has you know helped india in uh, discovery of the nuclear weapon programs and uh, next are the some uh, uh, famous scientist and uh, in the next table there are the famous inventions made by them the first one is the edison it is for the uh, he has made the invention of phonograph graham bell uh, telephone right brothers aeroplane newton gravity louis pasteur rabies vaccination marie curie radioactivity albert einstein it is for uh, theory of relativity and penicillin was uh, of course um, discovered by the alexander fleming and uh, uh, the the chip the intel pentium chip it was invented by the uh, vinod ham he is also called the father of the pentium chip uh, after that uh, these are the famous indian inventions which are patented okay so first one is the nano car and uh, it is from the tatas uh, you know the middle class uh, families middle class income families who have you know that kind of budget they can simply have access to a very um, budgetable car and uh, third one is the uh, second one is the hepatitis vaccine and uh, it's uh, one dose cost for the 40 cents and it gives the health care to the people with the low uh, low purchasing power third one is the jaipur foot it is uh, affordable foot for you know the specially abled uh, person or for the prosthetics and uh, here comes the another slide what is the uh, purpose of showing this slide to you people so that you can observe that you know the nature of invention is very very simple even if your invention is very simple in you know uh, when you see some invention it is very simple but you know it is hugely beneficial for uh, the people who are going to use it you can simply claim a patent right over it now you can see here the the, the first figure okay it shows the blue cap it is a shark cap it looks very simple when i see from you know my outer eye but it is very useful you know it is protecting the baby's eyes from uh, uh, the harsh chemicals from the shampoo or any kind of you know chemical they are using over their head so uh, another one is the uh, wrist band okay right now uh, these days we are using the various kind of the fitness bands wrist bands uh, we are using the watches and this wrist band has the simple sensors and uh, we are able to project the screen over your wrist so now you don't need you know you don't need a phone mobile phone to operate uh, it uh, by with your uh, hand only you can simply uh, use a band if your mobile is you know on the far distance you can just simply project the screen onto your wrist and you can simply operate it through the, your finger and uh, third one is the uh, card reader so Uh, nowadays we are using you know the, the this uh, uh, this kind of card uh, pin
card reading pen is available in some of the countries but now uh, but in india we are using these card readers we simply go for the shopping we go for uh, you know we just pay with our credit card or debit cards by just swiping it over the card readers but very soon we are going to see uh, this trend also and fourth one is the drone camera if you want some fancy aerial pictures we don't you don't need to you know fly that high on the sky into the sky you just need a drone camera to share to, you know some of the good uh, aerial views okay so next slide talk about the designs and uh, uh, the previous slides uh, talked all about the patent rights uh, in the terms of the you know technical view now we are going to talk about the designs so when i talk about the designs and when you get it registered uh, with the, your uh, with our ipr of ip offices it becomes the industrial design design only means the feature shape configuration pattern ornament composition of lines or colors that is applied to any article okay when you apply you suppose you have article or a shape this is a mouse okay when you apply some color configuration pattern different like, like you can see the pattern of this mouse is very much beautiful it is very comfortable okay it can i can simply grab it with my hand and my uh, fingers can you know very uh, comfortably rest over the this mouse shape so it qualifies for the different shape okay so design only means the feature of shape configuration or pattern which is applied to any kind of particle if you have something we if you have some some something you know unique in design perspective that you can apply to an article you can also apply for it uh, apply for the registered design in our office okay and uh, this is the finished article appeal that is judged solely by the eye this is nothing to do with the technical specification and how you are doing it and also the slide specifically says it that it doesn't include any mode of principle or construction kaise aapne usko banaya hai koi bhi substance hai chahe wo mechanical device hai aur iska koi trademark se kuch lena dena nahi hai kaise aapne banaya hai kaisi iski process hai kuch nahi सिंपली जो आप इसका शेप एंड डिजाइन जो है जो एक नेकेड आई से आप जज कर सकते हैं इट क्वालिफाइज फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइन एंड वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द आई पी आर इट कम्प्लीटली इन्वॉल्व द लीगल प्रोसेस इन टू इट सो वी आर फॉलोइंग द स्पेसिफिक एक्ट एंड रूल्स टू गेट इट रजिस्टर्ड विद दू नो इंडियन पेटेंट ऑफिस सो वी आर फॉलोइंग द डिजाइन एक्ट 2000 and designs act 2001 and also they have added some amendments to the uh, uh, earlier rules and it is uh, you know it uh, it is now being said as the design rules amendment 2021 okay so uh, the term of the design once you are granted a right over a design it is for the 10 years and it could be extendable to the 15 years so what is the definition of the article article as it says in the section 2a it means any article of manufacture or any substance artificial or partly art, uh, partly artificial or a partly natural and includes any part of article which is capable of being made and it could be separately sold okay so um, design is uh, that which could be solely judged by the human eye so here are some images uh, of the uh, design of an article it uh, here are the some <laughs> images the first one is uh, some uh, chemistry equipment second one is the five seater sofa and it is in the l shape but slightly it has you know u shape also and the third one is the design of a watch and uh, this is the uh, hand wash dispenser design of the mass now uh, you can easily relate with this slide as you have seen that in this pandemic we have seen the three different waves okay the complete disaster we have seen and you know we have also seen the people making out of, making you know money out of it how the very uh, you know the people who have some creative ideas in their brain 
and also they have you know uh, their uh, uh, cre cre uh, the some kind of you know design into their minds and they have uh, curated the different kind of masks they have designed the different kind of um, uh, kind of masks now you can see that the market is flooded with the different kind of masks be it the design be it the colors be it the prints and patterns be it the no, you know the filters the dust filters uh, some masks are without filters some are like a two layer three layer uh, two ply three ply some masks are with the one filter some are with the two filters and all so people are making money over it and uh, next one is the uh, machine and uh, now sixth one is the uh, shape of a bicycle so set of articles also uh, qualified for the if you have something in your mind which you know in, encompasses uh, the set like this is uh, showing the tea uh, kettle set okay so it is also uh, qualifies for the registered design and design of the set of the articles like this is uh, the teapot set jewelry set or sofa set and uh, what is the procedure of filing of design application so you need to go to the uh, ipindia.nic.in this is our website and uh, design office is in the kolkata and uh, there uh, they are the there are the uh, examiners who just uh, follow this pattern okay to process a design application once you e file your application it goes to the electronic processing module and uh, first uh, we do the uh, formal examination we check about the legal uh, prospect of the exam uh, invention like who have made this application and uh, who who is the inventor involved in it and uh, uh, are the uh, the parties are in uh, you know the well of terms and all uh, the various kind of nocs we are check and we are we we do check the various kind of the form submitted after that there is a registration and then we publish your invention on our uh, on our website why do we uh, why do we publish your invention on the you know completely public forum before granting an invention this is for the purpose of the public to know that uh, this invention is already being you know claimed priority while registering with the patent office and it the already an application is being made with the uh, patent or the design office to get a claim or a design right over it so uh, physical filing is also possible in all the four offices but right now we are you know uh, we are following the digital india by this is the great initiative by government of india so we are uh, making you know we are digitizing the, the uh, physical all the physical filing and uh, for physical filing you need to uh, pay in the form of the dd in the favor of the controller of designs which is payable at kolkata only so what are the requirements to file an ordinary application do you need to just pay 1000 rupee or to 4000 rupee uh, application fee this is for the form 1 so rupees 1000 for individual small entities and startups and 4000 for the others and uh, in the form 1 these are the few things you need to take care of and uh, also you can you know uh, simply check our, our uh, website ipindia.nic.in to uh, just completely you can get the complete information about the various forms and also there is a fee schedule over there you can simply check the fee schedule also and uh, this is the specimen of the representation sheet this is how you submit the representation sheet to the examiner so in this case you are uh, here you can see the article this is the kettle and you can see the perspective view it says nothing about its you know the quality or the value of the strainer it simply shows the perspective view so novelty resides in the shape and configuration of the teapot and uh, no claim is made that uh, uh, how mechanical what is the mechanical property of this kettle the uh the just novelty is only residing in the shape that how the shape and configuration looks of this uh, uh, teapot and uh, this is uh, how the certificate of uh, registration of design looks like and it uh, is uh, it gives you a design number that uh, at which number your design is registered with us so this is the publication data 
and uh, these are the important timelines for the ordinary application okay so once once you make an patent application to our patent office and it gets uh, suppose we have examined that application then uh, for the very first time we issue the fer the first examination report the first examination report contains all the objections the technical objections and the formal objections it says uh, it you know it highlights the uh, what are the problems with the application it highlights the uh, objections regarding the uh, technical specification it highlights the um, objections regarding the formal specification like if you have not properly uh, drafted your application if some signature is missing that comes under the formal domain and if i talk about the technical specification domain then uh, there is you know uh, if um, if if you are uh, if you have you know copied some data from the already existing application or if uh, the uh, the invention you are talking about is already being you know there in the prior art so 6 month after the 6 month you have been given uh, you will be given with the like 6 months for the filing the reply of uh, reply of the fers and within the 6 month you need to uh, give the answer to the controller uh, for that uh, first examination report and these 6 month if uh, for some reason if you are not able to file for the reply for that 6 month it could be extended up to further 3 months and uh, terms of design is the initially for 10 years from the date of filing and it could be extendable by the another 5 years and uh, if you want to renew your uh, design then it should be filed within 10 years and it request for restoration of labs design to be filed within 1 year from the date of cessation, uh, cessation so what is a trademark so when i talk about the trademarks i i think you people know about it all like a trademark is uh, something that adds uh, hugely to the brand value if i talk about the apple so you know it instantly comes to if i talk about the iphone it the instant comes to your mind is apple okay so concept is a trademark could be any word name symbol or device or any combination and it identifies and you know it distinguishes your goods and services from the other companies and it provides the exclusive monopoly okay so we talk about this this what the uh, it uh, you, this slide usually talks about the trademarks only okay so first figure is of mcdonalds okay you we just uh, don't need to write, read or write um, the word mcdonald only by seeing the sign or the logo we can easily identify this is the mcdonalds and next one is the coca cola third is google uh, next is uh, nike adidas and uh, nokri.com and uh, this is bureau of indian center and ye dil dil ye dil mange more is for pepsi so trademarks include the service marks trade names it could be a collective mark also also it could be a tagline or slogan okay like this the dil mange more is a tagline and also it could be a shape and in some cases a sound mark could also be a trademark like uh, in case of the ipl you can see then uh, the, the, you can uh, uh, see that they have curated a special uh, music or a sound for the ipl okay so whenever ipl starts the the um, you know the, the, the that sound comes uh, you know it comes as the logo and it comes this sound comes as the representation of that ipl and uh, if i talk about the britannia biscuits so britannia britannia okay while uh, jab hum tv pe ad dekhte hain to wo sound bajata hai na ting ting tading so it uh, you know britannia it is sound mark of the britannia so it also qualifies for the trademark so what is a good trademark it could be inherent or acquired you acquired from something and uh, somebody else so it adds to its distinctiveness and it should not be deceptively similar now you can you know simply revoke and revoke you can uh, simply uh, distinguish um, simply mark the difference in between the uh, adidas uh, and uh, the other products that is being duplicated from the adidas or uh, you can simply you know mark a difference between the rebook and rebook okay 
so before adopting a new market it is advisable to have a search conducted and evaluated so that uh, so that you simply avoid the unnecessary litigation or the legal process so how to indicate your trademark when you uh, when you file an application for the trademark and uh, you you just get a registration okay you just register uh, your uh, trademark application with uh, something then only uh, you know you can see this in the superscript in the company name in the superscript the tm is written over there okay but when you register your uh, trademark with uh, the iprs then you can see the r in a gola whenever you see in the superscript r in a gola along with the company's name it means it is registered okay and how can you protect your trademark it uh, trademark registration is optional uh, trademark agar aap nahi bhi register karwayenge to bhi chalta hai but uh, uske baad agar aapke products ko koi copy karke market mein bech raha hai to you aapke paas koi proof nahi hai aur aap usko rok nahi sakte hain but agar aapke paas trademark hai आपके पास रजिस्ट्रेट रजिस्टर्ड ट्रेडमार्क है तो रजिस्ट्रेशन की यही एडवांटेज है कि आप अपने ट्रेडमार्क को प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो कोई भी दूसरा उस ट्रेडमार्क को यूज नहीं कर सकता है और जो रजिस्ट्रेशन है वो नेशनल रीजनल और इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे अवेलेबल है और इनिशियली आप इसको दस साल के लिए रजिस्टर करवाइए उसके बाद आप उसको इनडेफिनेटली रिन्यू करवा सकते हैं अब आप देख रहे हैं सिक्सटी सेवेंटी ईयर्स ओवर दी हंड्रेड ईयर्स पीपल आर यूजिंग द सेम ट्रेडमार्क If I talk about the Air India, if I talk about the various other uh, companies that are you, you know being in the market for more than hundred years, so in case of non-use, non-renewal, no policy, trademark rights, jo hai, you can lose your trademark rights. And uh, also, okay, so here comes another interesting slide that is copyright. So copyright, uh, if I talk about the copyright, so some kind of movie or song comes to your mind. If I talk about the copyright, some kind of movie or uh, movie or song comes to your mind. So, what does it copyright mean? Anything you create by yourself, you have exclusive right over it. Like I am presenting this presentation. This is my way of presentation. So, is pe sirf mera copyright hai. ठीक है? ये owner ko uh, allow karta hai. किसके लिए अपने तरीके से अपना कुछ भी क्रिएशन पेश करने के लिए ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंस इन कॉपीराइट इज कुछ क्रिएटिव होना चाहिए अगर आई फॉर टॉक अबाउट दी कॉपीराइट्स तो हम सिर्फ लिटरेरी वर्क के अंदर कॉपीराइट्स को ऑब्जर्व करते हैं सो so, अगर आप कुछ लिख रहे हैं कुछ बुक आप लिख रहे हैं कुछ आर्टिस्टिक वर्क आप कर रहे हैं कुछ पेंटिंग है कुछ ड्रामेटिक वर्क है कुछ म्यूजिकल टाइप वर्क है सिनेमेटोग्राफिक फिल्म है साउंड रिकॉर्डिंग है सो इट ऑल क्वालिफाइज फॉर द कॉपीराइट। सो वी हैव डिफरेंट सेक्शंस इन द कॉपीराइट एक्ट दैट फॉलोज इट लाइक इन सेक्शन टू ओ इट टॉक्स अबाउट द लिटरेरी वर्क in section 2h it talks about the dramatic works in uh, musical work is uh, it is uh, being followed in the 2p section cinematograph film 2f and sound recording 2x so uh, who all are the authors of the work this is the if if somebody is doing the literary or dramatic work who is the first owner of the copyright author okay if somebody is uh, uh, making some composition or doing some music work the music composer is the owner of the copyright and uh, artistic work other than a photograph is the artist or a person who's taking the photograph is a photographer uske paas sirf copyright hai jisne pehli baar wo photo li us angle se wahi us photograph ka kya hai owner hai aur uske paas hi uska copyright hai or if i talk about the cinematographic film or sound recording then it talks about the producer or if i talk about the literary dramatic musical artistic work which is computer generated so the person who caused the work to be created is the owner of that copyright okay so uh, in case of the copyrights as 
ओके इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द एंशियंट टाइम्स तो क्या होता था अगर मैं किशोर दा और पंचम दा के टाइम की बात करती हूं तो उस टाइम पे क्या था या इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द अमृता प्रीतम हु वाज यू नो क्यूरेटिंग हर पोएम्स तो इन द अर्लियर डेज व्हाट पीपल यूज्ड टू डू वाज दे यू नो दे क्रिएट समथिंग दे यूज्ड टू क्रिएट समथिंग एंड दे पोस्ट इट टू देमसेल्फ टू देयर एड्रेस बाय द रजिस्टर्ड पोस्ट बाय द इंडियन पोस्ट ओके okay? सो so, वो अपना कुछ बना रहे हैं उसके बाद उसको आप वो अपने एड्रेस पे पोस्ट कर लेते थे अपने नाम पे तो इसका मतलब है वो सिर्फ उनकी हो गई है क्रिएशन एंड दिस टाइम पीपल डू इट बाय ईमेलिंग टू देमसेल्व्स अगर वो कहीं कॉपीराइट में उसको रजिस्टर नहीं करवा रहे हैं तो वो ऐसा करते हैं कि अपने आप को ई कर रहे हैं क्योंकि वो उनके पास प्रूफ है कि ये तो मैंने पहले बनाया था ओके okay? एंड आपने बहुत सारे ऐसे कॉपी राइट के बारे में सुना होगा लाइक uh, यूट्यूब like, uh, पे आजकल बहुत सारे मैशअप्स आ रहे हैं ओके okay? तो अगर आप बिना किसी के परमिशन लिए जो उसका ओरिजिनल सोर्स है बिना उसकी परमिशन लिए अगर ऐसे ही आप यूट्यूब पे कंटेंट बना रहे हैं तो उसके लिए प्रॉपर आपको कॉपीराइट मैनर्स को फॉलो करना पड़ेगा और अगर समबडी इज नॉट फॉलोइंग दोज मैनर्स तो जो ओरिजिनल सोर्स है वो उनको कम्प्लीटली सू कर सकता है क्योंकि उसके ऊपर उसका राइट right है so in case of the uh, literary dramatic artistic or musical work so jis din se usko banaya gaya hai jitna lifetime rahega author ka us din se plus 60 years from the death of his or her age jo copyright rights hain uske sath rahenge okay and in case of cinematographic film cinema and sound recording it is from the 60 year of from the date of publication suppose aaj ek movie ki release date aaj se hai तो आज जो वो पब्लिश हुआ है या फिर जिस दिन उसके कॉपीराइट के लिए रजिस्टर उसने किया है मान लीजिए आज रिलीज होने से पहले ही कॉपीराइट के लिए उसको रजिस्टर करवा दिया गया है तो उस दिन से उसको 60 इयर्स तक उसके पास कॉपीराइट्स हैं उसके अलावा उसके पास 61 फर्स्ट ईयर से उसके कॉपीराइट जो राइट्स हैं वो लैप्स हो गए हैं और अगर ब्रॉडकास्ट और रिप्रोडक्शन राइट्स हैं तो पहला जो पहले साल में जो ब्रॉडकास्ट हुआ है वहां से लेके पच्चीस साल तक आपके पास सिक्योरिटी है और अगर सपोज किसी ने कुछ कोरियोग्राफी कुछ स्टेज पे परफॉर्म किया है सपोज कोई ड्रामा स्टेज पे परफॉर्म किया है तो वहां से लेके 50 साल तक जहां तक वो जो परफॉर्मेंस है उसको uh, 50 इयर्स तक का आपके पास प्रॉपर सिक्योरिटी है एंड आफ्टर आफ्टर दैट इज एप्लीकेशन प्रोसीजर वी यू नीड टू फाइल दिस फॉर्म दिस इज दॉर्म फोर्टीन and uh, every such application can be filed in the copyright office by the person ya fir wo by post bhi kar sakte hain ya fir e filing facility se bhi kar sakte hain and uh, after that is uh, dekho iske is schedule ke andar uh, bahut hi nominal fees hai agar aapke paas kuch literary dramatic artistic or musical uh, kuch piece of work hai aur agar aap you want to get it registered with the or uh, copyright with our of copyright office it simply cost 500 rupees okay it is less than a very famous uh, or a very fancy coffee if you sip your coffee in a very fancy restaurant it uh, you know it is less than that so artistic agar aapke paas kuch hai to be used or capable of being used on the goods and services 2000 rupees sound recording ke liye 2000 rupees hai cinematograph film ke liye 5000 rupees hai and uh, what is the examination procedure एग्जामिनेशन प्रोसीजर में सबसे पहले अगर हमारे पास कॉपीराइट ऑफिस में एप्लीकेशन आती है तो सबसे पहले हम उसकी फॉर्मल चेकिंग करते हैं उसके लीगल प्रोसेसेस चेक करते हैं एंड आफ्टर वर्ड इट गोज अलोंग विद दी फ्लो चार्ट दैट इट हैज सम वेटिंग पीरियड एंड इफ देर इज सम डिस्क्रिपेंसी अगर हमें लगता है कि कुछ ये पिछले से कुछ चुराया हुआ है या तो ऑलरेडी प्रायर एड में है तो उस केस में हम एक एप्लीकेंट को एक डिस्क्रिपेंसी लेटर इशू किया जाता है अगर वो एप्लीकेंट इफ दैट एप्लीकेंट इज एबल टू रिमूव दैट डिस्क्रिपेंसी देन इट इज ओके द डिप्टी रजिस्ट्रार कैन यू नो अप्रूव इट अगर नहीं है तो आपको एक हेयरिंग का मौका दिया जाता है एप्लीकेंट को अगर आफ्टर द हेयरिंग द डिप्टी रजिस्ट्रार इज सेटिस्फाइड देन योर रजिस्ट्रेशन कुड बी अप्रूव्ड ओके सो नेक्स्ट कम्स द एस आई अगर मैं एस आई के बारे में बात करूं सेमीकंडक्टर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट लेआउट डिजाइन के बारे में हम बात करें तो सर्किट बोर्ड डिजाइन के लिए ऑफिस के अंदर एक डिफरेंट प्रोविजन हम फॉलो कर रहे हैं और एक डिफरेंट प्रोसीजर फॉलो कर रहे हैं सो so, 
कोई भी ऐसा प्रोडक्ट जिसके अंदर ट्रांजिस्टर्स लगे हैं या फिर कुछ सर्कुटरी एलिमेंट्स लगे हैं दिस इज स्पेशली फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स पीपल ओके सो अगर कुछ सेमी कंडक्टेड डिवाइस है या कोई इंसुलेटिंग मटीरियल है या कोई कुछ भी ऐसा कुछ हमने डिजाइन किया है जो कि इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्कुट फंक्शन कर रहा है तो वो किसके अंडर आ रहा है वो सेमीकंडक्टर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट के अंडर आ रहा है और वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द वर्ड लेआउट डिजाइन लेआउट का मतलब है एक आप लेआउट जो बना रहे हैं ओके द लेआउट का मतलब है कौन सी स्पेशल फिगर कौन सी स्पेशल लोकेशन पे कौन सी स्पेशल पोजीशन पे कौन सा आईसी और पिन जो है आपने एम्बेड किया है उसको एक्सप्रेस करने का भी एक मैनर है ओके okay? वायर कनेक्शन का भी एक मैनर है उसके ऊपर भी आप एक पेटेंट राइट ले सकते हैं ओके एंड दिल्ली ऑफिस जो है दिल्ली ऑफिस में रजिस्ट्री है सर्किट एस आई रजिस्ट्री है जहां पे आप एप्लीकेशन जो है फाइल कर सकते हैं इसके लिए और एस आई क्यों इम्पोर्टेंट है बिकॉज दीज आर डेज वी आर जस्ट इन दू नो इन दैट इन दैट एरा जहाँ पे we are flooded by the technology every day we are seeing something new something new something new in form of the you know because uh, today in this today's speed uh, life we just can't wait for the 20 seconds to switch on to the next um, thing okay so it is the just uh, game of the time so that is why sicld is emerged jitna fast aapka circuit rahega utna fast aapka jo software hai us pe kaam karta hai okay so registration jo hai layout design ka wo 10 saal ke liye hai और इसकी प्रायोरिटी डेट आपको उसी दिन से मिलेगी जिस दिन ये पब्लिक हो गया जिस दिन आपने अप्लाई किया है सो जो एस आई के बारे में हम जो बात कर रहे हैं वो किस किस फील्ड में हम यूज कर रहे हैं स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी सैटेलाइट इंजीनियरिंग मेडिकल फील्ड एंड ऑल दी आई टी रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजीज वी आर यूजिंग दिस सर्कुटरी बोर्ड ओके सो नाउ दिस स्लाइड जस्ट शोज दी प्रोसेसिंग and how you can uh, use the sicld invention and uh, this is also showing the fee okay for the fee schedule i advise you to go to the ipindia.nic.in so here we come uh, to the next ipr that is uh, geographical indication so when i say the word geography what does it mean geography means a specific place okay and indication means something a some product that indicates ke wo us geographic region ka bana hua hai be it natural be it unnatural be it you know artificial jo product kisi geography ka indication batata hai usko hum gi tag ke liye eligible mante hain this is the invaluable treasurable of uh, treasures of incredible india okay so before going into the date deal i want to uh, i want you people to see a video that we have made for you okay now i'll play the video for you uh, from that you can get an idea that what gi means okay this is the सर काइंडली कन्फर्म इफ यू आर एबल टू सी दी वीडियो एंड आई एल प्ले इट फ्रॉम माई एंड एंड ट्राई टू चेक इफ इट इज ऑडिबल कम्प्लीटली ऑडिबल टू यू आर नॉट ओके मैम It's audible and visible both. Yes, ma'am.
Hello, ma'am. It is not audible. Hello. It is not audible, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, it is not audible. It is not audible. Yes. Jasprit, ma'am. Uh, it is not audible. Okay, okay, okay. I'll play it again. Wait. Now it is audible, sir. Yes, ma'am. It is audible now. Visible and audible. Chindi chor ke saath ham asan ke baad. Audible and visible. Ab IP. IP nani busy ho gayi. Apni khoti ki shaadi ki taiyariyon mein. Sangeet wale din jab chhoto unse mila to. Wow, nani. आप तो बिल्कुल छाए हुए हो आपके सामने तो मधुबाला को भी कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाए मस्ता लगाना बंद कर ये बता तुझे क्या चाहिए नानी आपने तो मेरा दिल ही तोड़ दिया क्या एक प्यारा सा प्यारा सा बच्चा अपने नानी को कॉम्प्लीमेंट भी नहीं दे सकता अच्छा सर एक्सेप्ट किया या कॉम्प्लीमेंट आप बत बस आपके हाथ की वो स्पेशल वाली चाय की है। बस इतनी सी बात के लिए इतना बड़ा मस्का 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 नहीं नानी आप बस सच मुझ बहुत ही रॉकिंग लग रही हो ये साड़ी आप पर बहुत ही अच्छी लग रही है। अरे ये तो स्पेशल लखनवी चिकन चिकन कारी है। लखनवी चिकन कारी पूरी दुनिया में हमें मशहूर है। ये अपनी खूबसूरत और बारीक एम्ब्रॉयडरी के काम के लिए फेमस है। लेकिन पता है इसकी सबसे बड़ी खासियत क्या है? ये रजिस्टर जीआई है। जीआई? वो क्या होता है नानी? जीआई का मतलब होता है जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशंस। हिंदी में इसे जिसे भौगोलिक दर्शन कहते हैं। ये किसी समुदाय का अधिक अधिकार है। वो विरासत जिन्हें प्रोटेक्ट और एनकरेज करने की बहुत आवश्यकता है। मुख्यतः इन टाइप्स में रजिस्टर्ड होती है। नेचुरल गुड्स, मैन्युफैक्चर्ड गुड्स, टेक्सटाइल्स, हैंडीक्राफ्ट्स, फूड्स का। अच्छा। चल चल। अब ना किचन में किचन में चलते हैं और गर्म गर्म चाय बनाते हैं। हाँ हाँ। किचन की ओर जाते हुए नानी ने छोटू को अपना देश घुमा दिया। छोटू? जी नानी। ये दे दे। ये पेंटिंग देख ये एक मधुबन पेंटिंग है बिहार हार की और ये है हिमाचल की कांगड़ा पेंटिंग तेरे नानी नानू को देश की कला और संस्कृति से जुड़ी हुई चीजों को इकट्ठा करने का बहुत शौक है अच्छा ये कठपुतलियाँ देखा है ये राजस्थान की है इसी तरह छत्तीसगढ़ से बस्तर ढोकरा, आंध्र प्रदेश से तिरुपति लड्डू, असम से मुगा सिल्क, नागालैंड से नागा मिर्च और मध्य प्रदेश के बाग प्रिंट ये सब रजिस्टर्ड जीआईज़ हैं। ओके। ये हमारे देश की कला और संस्कृति का प्रतीक हैं। हमारे देश में हुनर और कला का इतना भंडार है कि अभी से ही तीन सौ से ज़्यादा रजिस्टर्ड जीआईज़ हैं। वाओ नानी। चल चल अब तू चाय बनाने में मेरी मदद कर। एक बर्तन में बर्तन में पानी ले और उबालने के लिए रख। Yes boss। पता है छोटू? तुझे मेरे हाथ की चाय इतनी पसंद क्यों है? क्यों है नानी? क्योंकि ये special दार्जिलिंग की चाय है। ये देश की सबसे पहली रजिस्टर्ड जीआई है, जो 2004 लेकिन नानी एक बात बताओ इन जीआई से फायदा क्या होता है देखो छोटू ज्यादातर जीआई गांव के समुदाय के समुदाय के होते हैं इनसे कारीगरों बुनकरों किसानों की आमदनी बढ़नी बढ़ती है उनको अपनी मेहनत का सही दाम मिलता है और उन वस्तुओं की डिमांड भी बढ़ती है साथ साथ खरीदने वालों को भी विश्वास हो जाता है कि वो एक जेनुअन चीज खरीद रहे हैं। 
वैसे नानी मुझे एक आइडिया आया है अरे हाँ छोड़ो तेरे को आइडिया यस नानी अगले महीने फॉरेन से मेरे कुछ दोस्त आ रहे हैं क्यों क्यों ना मैं उन्हें हमारे देश के कुछ सुंदर जिया प्रोडक्ट्स गिफ्ट में दूं ये तो बहुत ही अच्छा आइडिया है छोटू उन्हें ये चीजें जरूर पसंद आएंगी और हमारे देश की कला का नाम भी होगा देखा नानी आप, आपकी संगत में मैं कितना इंटेलिजेंट हो गया हूँ भाई ये बात तो है <laughs> और इस तरह एक बार फिर आईपी नाली ने आईपीआर का झंडा ऊंचा लहरा दिया So, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video. So, GI is an indication. It identifies the product that has a specific uh, geographical origin. As I P Nani told us about the various things like Madhubani paintings from Bihar and Darjeeling tea. so uh, gi possesses the qualities or reputation that are due to that origin only okay because a specific origin has that uh, geographical uh, you know um, conditions in which they can be grown like recently i have visited goa and uh, they have also told me in the various way things that they have got this gi tag over it like a, a special uh, type of red chili that is being grown in goa only and uh, keshu fanny kaju fanny they call it there uh, that is uh, that has also a gi tag over it yes ma'am ma'am uh, are you trying to say something uh, sir my voice is coming or what Okay, okay. So uh, here uh, you can see the various figure like is Makrana marble, Darjeeling tea, Bobbly Vina, Bastar Dhokra India, and uh, Ventagiri sarees, and uh, uh, next is the Madurai Malli, Jiraksala uh, rice, uh, and uh, Surat uh, Zari craft, Nagpur Santra, and Nilgiri tea. so this is the darjeeling tea guys and this is the one of the recent uh, ipr that is being added to the gi registry i think in 2012 they have added it and uh, makrana marble it is from rajasthan and uh, ratlami save it is from uh, madhya pradesh and kanchipuram silk from tamil nadu and uh, next uh, the first figure is katputlis of rajasthan and uh, mp is famous for its bag prints and uh, bengal uh, patitra and uh, this is the sharial paintings uh, bidri wear and warli paintings this all shows you know in sabke paas apna apna gi tag hai jo previously i was showing that is you know handmade and this is uh, the uh, natural things okay that can be uh, grown into that specific region only like uh, kashmiri saffron is there and uh, shahi lychee of bihar is there and kurg orange this is the most uh, sweetest form of the oranges uh, you know you can have in kurg and they have their gi tag or gi label over it and uh, next is the uh, video that shows that how ip how you are all you are surrounded by the various ips in your life the time you wake up from your bed and the time you the till the time you go to your bed you are always surrounded by this uh, different kind of iprs so here is the video that uh, shows it so i am going to play that video for you so one more thing about the gi tag is like uh, gi tag uh, uh, it is not being given to some individual person 
इट इज फॉर दी कम्युनिटी ऑफ द पीपल एज आई पी नानी टोल्ड एस के जो बहुत ज्यादा छोटे समुदाय होते हैं वो गाँव के समुदाय हैं ठीक है वो अकेले वो सब नहीं हैंडल कर पाते हैं तो एक जो कम्युनिटी है जो उसको हेल्प करती है ग्रो करने में या उसको हेल्प करती है आ, उसको बनाने में अगर हम हैंडमेड क्राफ्ट की बात कर रहे हैं और अगर हम नेचुरल चीज की बात कर रहे हैं तो कोई कम्युनिटी है जो उस चीज को ग्रो कर रही है ठीक है तो उस केस में हम जो जी टैग है वो हम आ, उनको देते हैं जो कि कम्युनिटी ऑफ पीपल है किसी एक सिंगल पर्सन को जी टैग नहीं दिया जाता है सर काइंडली मैम काइंडली चेक इफ इट इज विजिबल एंड ऑडिबल मैम इज इट विजिबल एंड ऑडिबल बोथ so this was the video who uh, you know the video which talked about the how we are always surrounded by the ips now after this presentation i am uh, sure that uh, you people will also you know able to identify the iprs from each other like uh, which could you know uh, identify as the design uh, registered design what is the patent what is the gi what is the trademark and copyright so this slide shows the validity and once you get the uh, patent once you file a patent it uh, it takes its uh, like 20 year term and there is nothing uh, called the global or international patent all ip rights are in territorial in nature so if in in india you are filing for a patent to sirf aap ko india mein hi right mil raha hai agar suppose aap aap chahte hain ki us mein bhi aapko patent right lena hai to aapko us mein uske liye separate file karna padega और अगर कोई इंडिया में किसी एप्लीकेंट ने ऑलरेडी उस पर पे पेटेंट राइट लिया हुआ है तो उस केस में आ, जो यूएस एग्जामिनर है वो आपके डॉक्यूमेंट को साइट कर सकता है कि देखो ये ऑलरेडी पब्लिक है उस डोमेन में बट ये नहीं है कि अगर आपके पास इंडिया में पेटेंट राइट है तो उस सेम इन्वेंशन में यूएस में पेटेंट नहीं हो सकता है तो अगर आपको यूएस में भी प्रोटेक्शन चाहिए तो आपको यूएस में भी अलग से सेपरेट पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन जो है वो फाइल करना पड़ेगा and uh, when i talk about the designs so design ka term 10 years hai and it could be further extendable up to the 5 years and in the case of the trademarks it is indefinitely subject to renewal 
एंड जी आई आर ऑल्सो उसका भी इनडेफिनेट टाइम पीरियड है कॉपी राइट में uh, जो ऑथर का लाइफ टाइम है द डे ही हैज क्रिएटेड इज क्रिएशन एंड प्लस सिक्सटी ईयर्स फ्रॉम द डेथ ऑफ इज हर एज एंड हु कैन अप्लाई द पर्सन कैन अप्लाई फॉर द पर्सन को इंक्लूड्स द एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म एंड इफ इट इज इन पार्टनरशिप विद अदर पर्सन small entities and the corporate bodies and uh, for the gi tag gi tag is not uh, given to some uh, someone who is individual it is for the community of the people so while filing for the iprs there are some points to remember is uh, first you need to protect jo bhi kuch aap invention kar rahe hain pehle us pe protection right lijiye fir usko publicly publish kijiye इसके इसी से ही आप अपनी जो इन्वेंशन uh, है उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड आफ्टर दिस इट शोज द पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन फाइलिंग सो ये डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स है फॉर्म वन फॉर्म वन में एप्लीकेशन का डिटेल है कंप्लीट एप्लीकेंट का डिटेल है फॉर्म टू में आप प्रॉपर uh, uh, अपना जो है वो ड्राफ्ट करेंगे एप्लीकेशन उसमें टाइटल रहेगा आपकी इन्वेंशन का बैकग्राउंड रहेगा ड्राइंग्स हैं उसमें और इन्वेंशन की ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन रहेगी क्लेम्स रहेंगे अगर आप 10 क्लेम्स के फॉर्म में क्लेम uh, जो भी पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन आप फाइल करते हैं वो यू आर नीड टू फाइल इट इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ द क्लेम्स और अगर सिर्फ 10 क्लेम्स फाइल्ड हैं तो आपको कोई फीस चार्जेबल नहीं है एंड आफ्टर दैट अगर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एड ओनली वन क्लेम ऑल्सो तो आपको हर क्लेम के लिए अलग फीस चार्जेबल है एंड थर्टी पेजेस का डिस्क्रिप्शन देने पे कोई फीस नहीं चाहिए बट अगर आप उसे ज्यादा पेजेस ऐड करते हैं देन यू नीड टू पे सम फीस ओवर इट एंड ये ई फाइलिंग फी है फॉर्म वन के लिए सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड है नेचुरल पर्सन के लिए स्टार्टअप के लिए एंटीज के लिए और एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट के लिए और अगर बिगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉलो कर रही हैं तो उसके लिए एट थाउजेंड फीस है इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल टू विजिट एंड यू नो एक्सप्लोर दी फीस स्केड्यूल बिफोर फाइलिंग अटेंट no problem sir i could understand so this is the filing uh, portal here you can see the filing yeah, yeah. portal here so you no, need no, i just want to uh, uh, let you know that i'm going to pay that whatever that you sir uh, i'm ready with my checks uh, or nap details whichever way that is convenient you can just uh, let me know so that i will process it Ma'am, you please unmute yourself. Uh, I have muted the person who is in my course. Sir, so, uh, when you have any. मैम uh, मेरे को आवाज जो है तो हो रही है काइंडली आप म्यूट कर लीजिए अपने जो जब भी आप कोई भी पेटेंट इन्वेंशन बना रहे हैं तो पहले आपको उसको प्रोटेक्ट करना है उसके बाद उसको पब्लिश करना है और जो राइट्स हैं वो टेरिटोरियल है नेचर में ऐसा नहीं है कि जो आप एक कंट्री में जो देर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड द ग्लोबल और इंटरनेशनल पेटेंट अगर आप इंडिया में फाइल किया है आपने और इंडिया में आपके पास प्रोटेक्शन है तो आपको अगर यूएस में भी अपनी इन्वेंशन को प्रोटेक्ट करना है तो आपको यूएस में उसके लिए सेपरेट फाइल करना पड़ेगा ओके और रजिस्ट्रेशन जो है इट इज डन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड पीरियड्स के लिए टाइम दिए जाते हैं ताकि राइट्स को हम लिमिटेड टाइम पीरियड के लिए देते हैं ताकि जो मार्केट की मोनोपली है वो रोकी जा सके और अदर इन्वेंशन को भी हम उतना ही मोटिवेट कर पाए अगर एक लंबे समय तक एक ही पर्सन के पास राइट्स रहेंगे तो वो डिमोटिवेट करता है और डिस्करेज करता है अदर काइंड अदर साइड ऑफ द इन्वेंशन को और ऐसा ही है कि जब यू नो सम काइंड ऑफ थेफ्ट हैपन्स इन योर हाउस द पुलिस डजेंट कम ऑटोमेटिकली यू नीड टू गो टू द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड यू नो फाइल एफ फॉर इट 
सो ऑटोमेटिक रिलीफ नहीं है आपको इन्फ्रिंजमेंट सूट फाइल करना पड़ेगा अगर आपकी आपको लगता है कि आपकी इन्वेंशन को स्टील करके कोई और भी पब्लिकली यूज कर रहा है और कुछ आई के लिए आपको रीन्यूअल फीस भी पे करना पड़ता है और ऑलरेडी uh, अगर uh, आप किसी लीगल रिप्रेजेंटेटिव को रख रहे हैं तो इट्स गुड अगर नहीं भी रख रहे हैं तो इट्स नॉट कंपलसरी टू ऑलवेज यू नो अपॉइंट दी पेटेंट एजेंट फॉर फाइलिंग ऑफ दी एप्लीकेशन ई फाइलिंग पोर्टल जो है वो काफी यूजर फ्रेंडली है वो एक, एक जो वेल well लर्न पर्सन है वो uh, मतलब उसमें आप इजिली आप उसको फाइल कर सकते हैं ऑल्सो आपको हर पेटेंट ऑफिस में एक हेल्पलाइन नंबर है अगर आपको कोई भी इशू आ रहा है ई फाइलिंग के रिलेटेड या कुछ भी तो उसको आप हेल्प डेस्क पे कॉल करके आप अपनी हेल्प जो है वो ले सकते हैं पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन के लिए आपको ये फॉर्म्स फाइल करने पड़ेंगे फॉर्म वन जो है वो उसमें आपको एप्लीकेशन डिटेल देना है फॉर्म टू में आपको इन्वेंशन की डिटेल्स देना है टाइटल बैकग्राउंड सब ड्राइंग सब कुछ जो भी है और जो भी आप प्रोटेक्शन फाइल करना चाहते हैं वो इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ दी क्लेम्स होती है तो आपको क्लेम्स आप उसमें से फाइल कर सकते हैं अगर आप टेन क्लेम्स जो है टेन क्लेम्स तक कोई फीस नहीं है एंड अदर देन मोर देन टेन क्लेम्स यू नीड टू पे सम फीस एंड थर्टी पेजेस तक अगर डिस्क्रिप्शन है तो उसके लिए भी कोई फीस नहीं है बट अगर आप कोई भी एक्स्ट्रा पेज फाइल कर रहे हैं तो एच पेज ईच पेज के लिए आपको चार्ज लगेगा फॉर्म थ्री जो है उसमें फॉरन uh, फाइलिंग की डिटेल्स है अगर आप फॉरन कंट्री में फाइल कर रहे हैं तो उसके लिए आपको रिस्पेक्टिव कंट्रोलर से परमिशन लेना पड़ता है एंड दिस इज यू नो अबाइडेड बाई द लॉ एंड रूल फॉर्म फाइव एंड फॉर्म एटीन जो है रिक्वेस्ट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन जब तक आप फॉर्म एटीन सबमिट नहीं करेंगे ऑफिस में तब तक आपकी एप्लीकेशन जो है उसका एग्जामिनेशन नहीं हो पाएगा सो so, ये एक फी स्केड्यूल है बहुत ही नॉमिनल फी है एक नेचुरल पर्सन के लिए एक वो फाइल करने के लिए एक फैंसी ब्रांडेड क्लोथ से भी कम उसकी फीस uh, है एंड आई यू नो इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल टू गो थ्रू दी फी स्केड्यूल वाइल पेटिंग वाइल फाइलिंग फॉर दी पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन ओके बिफोर फाइलिंग एनी थिंग इन दी पेटेंट ऑफिस यू जस्ट नीड टू चेक दी रिवाइज फी स्टेटस क्योंकि अभी एडुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट के लिए भी जो फी है वो उसको रिवाइज कर दिया गया है सो so, ये ई फाइलिंग पोर्टल है यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पे आप रजिस्टर करेंगे तो आपको यूजर नेम और आपको पासवर्ड वो देना है एक और उसके बाद आप जो है वो फाइल कर सकते हैं एक्सपीडेटेड एग्जामिनेशन के अंदर हम विद इन वन मंथ एग्जामिनेशन करके जो एफ है वो एग्जामिन जो एप्लीकेंट है उसको सेंड कर देते हैं ये स्टार्टअप्स के केस में है स्मॉल एंटिटीज के केस में है और अगर कोई एप्लीकेंट फीमेल है या जो उसने ज्वाइंट एप्लीकेशन डाला है अदर नेचुरल पर्सन के साथ तो उस केस में एक्सपीडेटेड एक्सपीडेटेड एग्जामिनेशन हम लोग कर रहे हैं एंड एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेसिंग का ये फ्लो चार्ट है ये हम पहले देख चुके हैं कि पेटेंट एप्लीकेशन का जो कैसे हम फ्लो करते हैं और ये जो स्लाइड्स हैं मैं आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर दी स्लाइड्स विद दी पार्थ सर एंड ही विल यू नो शेयर दी स्लाइड्स विद यू पीपल आल्सो यू कैन इजीली गो थ्रू दिस फ्लो चार्ट एंड ऑल यू कैन इजिली चेक दी टाइम लाइन सो What are the career opportunities uh, if you uh, want to uh, you know work with the, the work work in the field of the IPRs? So in case of that, I am a software engineer and uh, I have joined this office as examiner of patents and design. Similarly, you can also opt for the examiner of trademarks and GIs and examiner of copyrights also. And there are different educational qualification is required for the different uh, uh, different profiles. and other if you want to work in the corporate world you can also work as a patent agent trademark agent or jrf srf also and patent litigation and other opportunities are in the private sector and uh, these are the contact details for the further training so this is arginai pm is a, you know it is a institute held in nagpur and uh, i myself did my induction training the 6 month induction training in the arginai pm nagpur and uh, this is the uh, institute which conducts uh, so many elaborative courses on the iprs like wipo courses uh, are this is the you know in the past time it was the host for the uh, various wipo courses and uh, recently they have also conducted the ip brick summit and uh, myself also i was also the part of uh, that team and i was the host for the ip breaks india so arjun apm is uh, the training institute it comes uh, it works for the dpiit and uh, it acts as a training institute 
so here comes the quiz now i'll ask some good questions from you guys these are the very simple questions and you will be able to answer it and uh, but because we have already you know mm, skipped the timeline and we have overrided the timeline and i'll uh, quickly do the quiz part for you so uh, help me finding the famous trademarks anybody from uh, this uh, scrabble game <laughs> lux lux great yes let all let all yes amul amul bata orlix bata Pepsi. Pepsi. Right. Cadbury. Cadbury. Right, ma'am. Babul is also there. Love. See from uh, see third row from the downward position. Babul is also there. Okay. Here is the answer. So Pepsi, Cadbury, Link, uh, uh, Horlicks, Amul, Tata, Dettol, Babul, Bata. So you people have uh, easily, you know, uh, found the most of the trademarks. So okay, uh, try to uh, help me finding the IPRs, IPs. So in the first uh, figure, there is the painting of Mona Lisa. So it comes under the which domain of IPR? Patent. Okay. trademark copyright yes sir. copyright and next is a sculpture yes design patent design or patent any piece of artistic work it comes uh, for the copyright only so and in the third uh, figure uh, you can see the laptop uh, a mobile and a perspective view of the uh, one uh, uh, i think this is the ipod so uh, okay try help me finding the uh, multiple ips in the one figure if i talk about the apple logo it is a trademark if i talk about the shape it comes design. from the design yes and if i talk about the uh, technical specifications regarding the screen led screen it comes for the patent and uh, in the fourth uh, figure there is trademark. A, yeah trademark right and in the fifth figure this is a coca cola bottle it, it has also trademark design and trademark both yeah so which type of ip protects the painting painted by the artist copyrights can be trademark and uh, copyright uh if i talk about the painting only and uh, it is you know we are just talking about the painting only then it comes under the domain of the literary work So it qualifies for the copyright only. And if I talk about the uh, intellectual.